And welcome right back to the Boazon playthrough. I don't know why I paused there. I was thinking of something to say, but I couldn't. So, continuing right along into the underground passage. Cave snappers. Now here is, oh God, oh God. Okay. Okay, I I'm gonna find the invader shaman. Yeah, kill him. Kill all these underlings that are of no consequence. Hopefully, these fire elementals will start casting their fire cannonade on death. Oh god! Okay. I thought it was actually on strike. Oh, inner... F okay, inner fire on attack. I actually didn't know it did. they did that. Hmm. Okay. That's a cool little uh, bonus if they're tanky enough for it, which usually they won't be. Unless you specifically want to make a, an Amazon summoner, which would be a bit weird if they did. Or if you were to make an Amazon summoner. I'm not sure how you'd really go about that. Oh my god. Yeah, so I was talking about the uh, glass cannon aspect of the build. Of course, this wouldn't be so bad if I could fucking actually keep spamming this attack continuously instead of uh, having to stop and then use it again. But now... Goodbye! Hello, Cave Snapper, get away from it! Okay. Buff them with Bloodlust. And a... Alright! Very good. Yeah, Fire Elementals are definitely helpful for this part of the game. Not the best thing ever, but... They're, they're helpful. And get the hell out of here. And yeah, I need a better bow. I know that. Die off. Thank you. Oh my, get away from the cave snappers. Uh, all right, fire cannonade. Actually, for this part of the game, I think it would actually be better if you had weak, if you had weak uh, elementals, so they die and do fire cannonade and kill everything, on, kill, kill everything in sight. Okay, gotta heal again. So I have no life recovery whatsoever right now. That will change, though. Uh, get the fuck away. Oh my, Cave Snapper. Get, get go, get going. All right, Fire Cannonade. Fuck you. All right, where's that? Hello, Shaman. Uh-huh. Yay. Thank you very much. Ok, 
Okay, thank God. And I gotta heal. I may as well get Vile Hand. I mean, even if I don't plan to use it, I still should should for this part. Just for a little bit of a tiny amount of fire dam or poison damage. Say every little bit of damage will help at this point of the game. And I'm halfway to level 18. Get out of here. Get the hell out of here. Please. Alright. Anything this way? Mana Shrine. Might as well drink out of the well. Level 16. Alright. I know it's not this way. Or, I'm pretty sure it isn't, but... Yeah, I may as well kill more shit. Okay. Uh-huh. I so wish I could do more damage on this thing. I mean, I can, but... The unfortunate thing is, it's Poison Flash is way too strong at this point of the game. Alright, got it. That's probably a Cathedral of Vanity somewhere over here. Alright, oh my, get... Gotcha. Awesome. Bloodlust everywhere. Hello there, Cave Snapper. Ooh. All right. And once again, once again, I never. The problem of never having any mana to cast my shit is continuing. Oh. Alright, that was pretty cool. Good. Just kill everything in sight. Surely it wouldn't be here, would it? No, I didn't think so. Alright, so that's done. There's the Cathedral of Vanity. 
Which I feel I could do with the bows on if I knew what I was doing. Because I know spamming barrage right up against totems completely incinerates them a lot of times. But I'm not promising I will do that in this playthrough. I did it with the melee necro simply because I did it off screen and I figured, eh, I may as well do it. Plus, I had, at that time, I had never done LOB either. I feel like I could do LOB with this build. Yeah, and I found another uh, vial hand. Feel. Because I have fire elementals at my disposal, I feel I could do LOB with this one too. Alright, so that's that. I keep, I keep wanting to buff with my offhand weapon that, or my switch weapon that doesn't yet exist. Hello, Death Nats. Run right into the buzzsaw that is Barrage. Now I'm able, okay, I'm glad now I'm able to cast it repeatedly. Either that or maybe not even cast repeatedly, just kill everything before I run out of mana. Then again, not having cave snappers around helps. And again, I'm playing on players eight, just to speed up the leveling process. Because you really do want a power level up to 18 or so. And fire cannonade. I need mana. And corruptors. Oh god, get away. Oh, spam that. 17, just one more level and I can... One more level, and I'll be ready to rumble. And, once I get to level 18, I, you'll find out why I've been running this whole time. Okay, where is... There you are. Uh, drink another man... Life potion just because. And no longer fear fire. That's very good. There's the tree of Inifus. Wrath Raven, you can't escape my wrath. And, let's see. Oh, and the waypoint's right here. Very good. What a strange looking tree. Oh, very good. All right. And where was the, okay, there were the can stones. I am very close to level 18. Nice! I like how I picked up all- I like how I got all those at the same time. I can't believe I did that. And I'll keep this ring just to see what it has. All right. It's as if a great war were fought here. And spam barrage. Never stop. Uh, 
again. Come on. Oh, and level 18. Alrighty. Now we've unlocked two skills that we will put every single point we can into. First one is Dragon Lore. Enhances fire cold lightning damage. And as you can see down on the bottom, hard skill points increases fifth elemental maximum damages per to weapon per level. And this stacks with each level, so there's no reason why we don't S max this. Now, this only applies to maximum damage. This does not apply to minimum damage, but that is incredible. And it says if you have another source. First of all, Sunstone of the Gods are not... Well, yeah, Sunstone of the Elements, Sunstone of the Gods, and Six Angel Bag all grant that. So, drag... So, our need to have another source is covered already. And I'll just have another point in Barrage, because I don't have anything better to spend it on. And okay, a Static Frenzy. Down there it says 7% improved magic damage per level. Now, I'm going to make this F3 and this F2. Okay, watch my defense. Zero. You have zero total character defense, no matter what. It, but you move and attack a lot faster than you ever did before. That's why I've been running this whole time, and that's why if you play a Bozon, you will be perpetually running. Because no matter what, a Static Frenzy will be on to improve your kill speed, attack speed, and what all did it improve? Yeah, and running speed. There, and this makes having a lot of to uh, hit recovery via wild and free very, very much important. Because, yeah, everything will be hitting you at melee range in pretty much ev in every single uber. So therefore, you want to keep moving at all costs. This is why this character is a glass cannon. It's a double-edged sword to be certain, but you've got to keep. But as long as you can keep moving and avoid getting trapped in hordes, you will survive and you will overpower everything, just through sheer kill speed, through sheer offense, and nothing else. And where's that gift box? There it is. Let's see. Gloves, which I don't need any. Actually, wait, what does it do? It gives Amazon weapon, Amazon helm, and I didn't think it gave gloves, but I could have been wrong. Deckard K, go to the rogue's camp without delay. All right. Off screen, I will edit, or I will not edit anything. I will uh, get the bow and the helmet that I desire from the gift box. And then, and possibly my gloves too, if this third item is always gloves. And uh, I don't need that. This is a good choice though too, because can't chance to cast Celerity and fail an X. This is like the offensive choice for this character, but I don't want to use that yet. And I'm just going to sell all this, because I don't care. And now it's time to do the... I guess it's time to do the... the Forgotten Tower. Fortunately, witches don't exist yet. level 19. Okay, so another point into a Static Frenzy, another point into Dragon Lore, and because I don't have anything better to spend it on, I'll spend it on Wild and Free. Alright, so... Now, if this was on Players 1, I would be like 
I'd probably be one or two hitting every single thing I run into. Because, as you can see, even on players 8, I'm, like, one-shotting. Or, not one-shotting, but I'm very quickly killing everything in my path. Alright. Good. Okay, so I guess the tower's on the other side of the river. Okay. Ship turquoise, gotta pick that up. Um, I've mentioned before that the tiefling assassin in the th during the throwing assassin playthrough I mentioned that the Tiefling Assassin also has zero total character defense, but that one moves really kind of slowly, in my opinion. At least this one improves weapon damage, and you move incredibly fast. So let's see. More Dexterity. And I can't invest in anything useful. I can invest in Phalanx, but I'm not going to be putting... But it's not like I'm going to be using that until I hit level... 80, at like level 70 plus, possibly level 90. And there's the Forgotten Tower. place reeks of death. Or actually, it's the stench of poison. And, yeah, we have pork chop curse. Not much to comment on here. I mean, what do I say? Just spam barrage on everything. Definitely a easy, definitely a fun build for beginners since you don't have to skill switch at all. And you can just full screen kill stuff very quickly, even on P8. Oh shit, shit, shit. That was very close. I'm really surprised I didn't die there. Hey, Crystal Witch. Alright, I'm just gonna put this up here. I'll use that once I get to the Blood Throne. Actually, or I'll use it now. And, and TU Wolfhead. That's already three uh, Mystic Shards I can have. Oh wait, not Mystic Shards, Arcane Shards. Yeah, Mystic Shard is the reward you get from Zorin Zen. Or one of the things you can make from Zorin Zen's reward. Get out of here. Shift Amethyst, yes. Alright, run. I think we want to run. 
Let's see, not, oh, this way. Spectral hit. All right, and the blood throne. Uh oh, watch her death strike. The fear of being gibbed by a death strike still is very, very much present. All right. Oh, whoa. How did she survive death strike? I have no clue. All right, so that's that. Probably the only time I'll kill Countess with uh, this character because I only, I only do the witch mini game. I only come in here on other difficulties. Just do the, uh, the one mini game. And you can't touch that fire. If you do, you just instantly die. So yeah, you gotta. Yeah, and even after it's gone, you saw how much damage it did. That was stupid. But whatever. All right, that'll work. There's minor healing potion. Gotta pick that up. Mana potions, which are useless. I never actually made a point of that either. The passive rate of mana regen in median is far faster than it ever was in the vanilla game, which I'm very grateful for. And I guess I will uh, make my way to the outer cloister and then end the segment. Because, yeah, I still need to off-screen grind the, uh, the gift box until, until I find the tier uniques that I'm looking for. Come on, run. Uh, run away. Uh, yep. We are good. Oh, wait, what, what was the... Bloodstone. Yeah, I'll pick that up. Elixir of experience. I'll definitely use that. Uh... No. Oh, fiddle fucking hell. Okay, use it right now. That's what I wanted to do. Fuck you. Alright, there we go. Alrighty, there we go. That's better. Get out of here. push my way. No, if you won't let me in the gates, I'll just push my way right through. <laughs> Onyx, got to get that. And there we go. Alright, so next time you'll see me with uh, better gear and hope hopefully I'll be even stronger. See you next time.